Hello. Um, today I'm going to be talking about the film The Town. Um, stars Ben Affleck, uh, Rebecca Hall, John Hamm, Jeremy Renner, and Blake Lively. Um, it's, a, uh, it's also directed by Ben Affleck um, and written by him. Um, it's based off of a uh, a novel called Prince of Thieves uh, by Chuck Hogan and uh, it's came out in 2010 so I may get into some spoilers um, but you know because um, it's fairly it's been around for a while um, um, this is a great film I believe um, it's a movie that you know, it's it's basically it's a bank. Uh, it's a film about a group of guys, you know, friends, gang, whatever, and they rob banks. And there's three banks that uh, uh, occur. Um, first bank robbery successful. Um, no, there's a uh, problems. That arrive, and um, Rebecca Hall gets um, uh, she gets taken because she she worked for the bank that they robbed. Uh, took her as a hostage. They don't harm her, and they have her walk out um, somewhere until she feels the water. Um, like she just keeps walking, and that's when she can take like a. They have a blindfold on her, and they have her hands tied. And, uh, yeah, Ben Affleck's the lead. He's the guy who's, like, in charge of the group gang, I guess you could say. And, uh, they, uh, uh Chris Cooper plays his dad, um, who's in jail. And, uh, essentially, uh, There's like this sort of recurring thing with his uh, Ben Affleck's character. Uh, his name is Doug. His uh, mom. His mom left when he was really young. Probably six in the movie, six seven, around that age. And she just left, and he doesn't know why. And as the movie goes on, we find out why. But basically, uh, uh, spoiler alert: she's dead. Um, but, you know, that's a kind of a, though in a way it's kind of like, kind of, I don't know, one might think she's dead, but who knows, um, he basically thought, you know, she, she just left Boston, which this movie takes place in, you know, it's Ben Affleck, it's a big surprise, you know, a movie would take place in Boston. That's just kind of funny, and um, Fedway Park is there. Um, yeah, he's a Red Sox fan, a huge one. And um, Jeremy Renner plays his uh, Affleck's best friend, uh, old Jim. And uh, John Hamm's an FBI agent, and um, uh, these ro bank robberies are you know, looking into him, him and his group based on some things like the skills some people uh, or people have has in the group like ones like works for like AT are very good with electronics computers all that and from there they're able to track down they are essentially uh, link things to them uh, and they now they get taken into custody and released then they do a few more bank jobs. Um, uh, in the uh, and these uh, um, 
and these guys, you know, there's a, there's like a, this, this crime dude, uh, guy who like brings in all the local crime together, like sort of plans out what you're going to rob and all that, and then they get to iron out all the details. So then that's when Ben Affleck, like, he takes charge of the whole thing. Like he's like, okay, we're going to hit this bank we're gonna hit this place with money for money and then from there we're gonna you know you know you take over as you see fit you I've given you some essentials here's some things you might need uh, use them how you need and then you create what you're gonna do you know, create the plan and that's what Affleck does so and it's a very interesting film. It's very good. Um, the woman that they take uh, hostage in the very beginning of the movie, uh, Affleck, uh, he has like a has a relationship with her. But then there's this other point where Blake Lively's character, um, yeah, she's uh, Jeremy Renner's sister, and they kind of have like a had a thing going. Had like a relationship. She has a kid, a daughter. She says it's his. He says it's not. We don't really know exactly conclusive uh, if it is his or not. Um, but anyway, uh, you know, the, the, the movie goes on, and the you know, second bank guy is just kind of pretty much almost goes wrong, you almost get caught. So as a result, you know, he wants to leave. Ben Affleck wants to leave, but then he's like, oh, you can't leave because there's people here that won't let you. And, um, he wants to take Rebecca Hall with him and just go somewhere. He wants to go to Florida because that's where he thought his mom would, you know, went. And, uh, we also later find out, like, uh, uh, the crime lord, uh, who's like a florist, um, name's Fergie, uh, played by Pete Postlethwaite, uh, he, uh, which is one of his last films he ever did. This is like his last, one of his last notable movies. I think he did a film that came out in 2011, because he died in 2000, like, uh, early in 2011, like January or so. He got nominated for uh, BAFTA, and uh, he did a great job. Everybody does a great job in this film. Um, I know I might be talking kind of broad, but again, this movie's been out for a while. Uh, on one hand, I don't really want to give spoilers because I think this is a, this was a fairly decent, really a decent film that was out and people went and saw and bought on DVD, Blu-ray seen on any streaming services that has it. It's on TV a few times. And, um, yeah. Um, he, you know, yeah. everyone does a great job. Um, you know, Ben Affleck's character, uh, he eventually does go through with a third bank robbery, but, uh, that goes just down the tube. As, you know, it's fairly successful the first time. You know, I mean, some guy got hit in the head really hard by Jeremy Renner. And that's another thing. Jeremy Renner has a huge... In this movie, his character has a huge temper. He was just very... like, unstable. You don't know what he's going to do next. And it's just like... Uh, you don't want to do anything to tick this guy off. Um, and... Mentioning that, and uh, because Ben Affleck had a hard time, I guess, cat figuring out who should play that character, who should play uh, his best friend in the movie, and his brother worked with um, uh, Jeremy Renner on the assassination of Jesse James by the coward Robert Ford, and suggested him, and. That's how that that happened, uh, and that movie is also very good, but it's fairly underrated. I've got it somewhere. 
Yeah, well, anyway, you know, I've got it. Uh, but, you know, it, in this movie, you know, I could, I'd go on, but I don't want to also spoil the ending. Um, I mean, things go bad, um, but then again, it, it kind of is a, it seems like that's the sort of the logical way to go. First bank heist, bank robbery. Pretty much goes as smooth sailing as one could get. They were able to destroy the hard drives with all the, you know, the surveillance footage recorded on it. They get destroy everyone's phones and all this. Uh, when the alarm is tripped, some guy, you know, he speaks up. He says, "Oh, no one tripped it." So uh, Jeremy Renner loses his temper and hits the dude various times in the head with the, the butt of his gun. So. Very unstable uh, character, but you know, um, this was, movie was a huge success for Affleck as a director. Um, uh, the first film he made was uh, Gone Baby Gone, and this was his second movie. And then the third movie was Argo, which I also enjoyed. And Jeremy Renner got nominated for an Academy Award. For best supporting actor for this film, he lost to Christian Bale in The Fighter, which is a loss. I'm like, you know, I'm not even mad. I can't really be mad at that. Though, also, I wanted Christian Bale to win, and I also believe Christian Bale gave the best performance that year. Sorry, there's something that popped up there. I tried to click it away. But, you know. It's a. This is a good film. Um, I know some people are sort of, yeah. When it comes to Affleck and acting, they're sort of like he's really good in some films, like Good Will Hunting, uh, Argo, this, um, um, The Accountant, which was also really good, um, and other films. But then there are some like Geely, Pearl Harbor. And others that he's like, eh, not so, not the best. And uh, Pearl Harbor, I guess he wasn't horrible, but that movie was just, you know, it was just, meh. it's about Pearl Harbor. I want to know, I want to see a movie about Pearl Harbor when watching. I don't want to see a love story. You know, this is in Titanic, um, or at least on Titanic, I guess such a thing could have happened. Passengers fell in love, but yeah, we don't need a love triangle uh, about Pearl Harbor. So, uh, with FF, like it's in a way kind of, I guess, in terms of his acting department, is you could say it's hit or miss, but with directing, he's really good. I think he's like Clint Eastwood in that he's a better director than actor. That's not to say he's a bad actor or Clint Eastwood's a bad a actor, neither of them. Are uh, they're really great? They're though. Granted, you could say uh, both actors have sometimes picked some roles that you know were in films that weren't really the best of their abilities. They could have chosen better, um, but you know they're both great behind the camera. Uh, Affleck really shines as an actor, as a writer. He co-wrote this film. Um, he, he's very good behind the camera. He's amazing. Um, I haven't seen the f film, uh, Live By, what is that film? What is the newest film he made? Uh, Live By Night, that's what he made. Yeah, Live By Night. Uh, I, I haven't seen that movie. Um, it didn't seem to get very good reviews from critics. Um, though some have assumed that movie got sort of butchered by the studio. For whatever reason, uh, Warner Brothers, for some directors, 
Oh, well, and also other studios, too, but I guess because this was made by Warner Brothers, Argo was Warner Brothers, and uh, By Night was Warner Brothers, and I think Gone, maybe Gone was, too. I haven't seen that movie in some time, so don't quote me on that, but it might have, but they, they, they just, for whatever reason, he, I guess he didn't really get final cut. Or maybe he had his own cut, but then the studio just took it and recut it. And it's like, um... Studios do that, it's very aggravating. It's very, you know... It, it's like the director's vision is not there. Um, and you would have thought when, when Argo won Best Picture, which Ben Affleck won for, because uh, he produced the film... He didn't get Best Director because the Academy didn't nominate him, which was one of the biggest upsets of that year. You were upset that uh, Affleck didn't get nominated for Director. Um, maybe because they thought, you know, it would be too predictable because Ben Affleck won, essentially, he won Best Director and Best Picture at every single awards uh, ceremony that was honoring all the 2012 films. And I guess they thought it would be completely obvious who was going to win. So I guess to throw everybody a curveball, he didn't get nominated. But uh, he should have. But but still, even without the director nomination and win for Affleck and Argo, he won all these other awards for directing and producing. And from what I've heard, you know, Live by Night was a film... He was very passionate about it and wanted to get made for quite some time. But other films like this movie, The Town in Argo, you know, kind of in terms of a director, he needed to sort of prove himself. Like he can do good movies, he can do big movies, and get people in the seats. And I guess because of the backlash of critics and stuff, and I guess also probably poor advertising, that film didn't very, perform really well. Um, but from what I've heard from people, they say, it seems like there's a good movie here, and Affleck had one. Unfortunately, Warner Brothers took that good movie and they just re-edited it. And uh, it's quite a shame. And Affleck also that year, 2016, you know, it was Batman vs. Superman. And while some say that's a mess of a film, which is very a fair point, uh, his performance was well-received. He was well received as Batman. I think he's a good Batman. Um, I don't think he's the best Batman. I think everybody kind of knows at this point who my favorite Batman is. If you've seen this, it's Christian Bale. I'm not going to continue on with that, but you know, it's about Ben Affleck today. The town. This is a great film. I think this and Argo, especially Argo, with all the awards it won and Affleck won, should have guaranteed. He should have final cut on pretty much any film he directs, because this film proves he's a great director. And a gr oh, an amazing actor, too. I mean, people might have thought, oh, you know, Goodwill Hunting was his height of acting and all that. He won an Oscar for writing, and he was in some Kevin Smith movies, and was fairly good in those, and then he did a bunch of movies that flopped, and, and Hollywood Land kind of reinvigorating his career as George Reeves. But, you know, this film and Argo really should have, um, I think, cemented him being able to, not necessarily exactly the ranks of Christopher Nolan, but in terms of Warner Brothers, because um, Ever since Insomnia, 2002, is when uh, Nolan started working with um, uh, Warner Brothers in terms of directing films, having them be released over there. But I think Affleck, you know, he, he's proven himself enough, especially with the Best Picture win for Argo, that he's able to capable of directing a good film. It said that films like this and Argo, and Gone Baby Gone. They, I guess, oh, 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 
I guess they didn't know how to market it, and then they tried to re-edit it or something, and so we could find, try to figure it out. And I guess that film's an example of studios messing with stuff they shouldn't. Um, but The Town is a great film, great performances by everybody, uh, and yeah, uh, Renner really does. You can't say he steals the film. He is that good. He's amazing. He's fantastic. Unpredictable. Um, you don't know what he's going to do. Um, also, in the entire film, he thinks it would be a good idea to whack a, essentially, Rebecca Hall so she doesn't talk because they took her license. And then starts, Affleck starts dating her and it's like, she could be a problem, but, you know. I recommend this film. The Town is a great movie. Um, if you like crime dramas, uh, bank robbery films, if you like films like uh, Heat, for instance, um, I think you might like this. I'm not saying it's on the exact level of Heat, you know, uh, if you haven't seen it. I don't want to try and paint you that picture, but it's a great, but it's, it's sort of like that in the sense of how the bank robberies were sort of done. Um, not exactly that style, but in a way of sort of how the uh, inner workings of everyone, uh, if you kind of get what I'm saying, because um, I don't even know what I'm saying, uh, I have a point, basically. Uh, heat was an influence, basically. That's what I'm trying to. Is the point I'm trying to get to, um, and it shows. And it's a it's a very good influence on a film like that. And uh, I recommend it uh, if you like the uh, or if you like Ben Affleck as a director, uh, give it a watch. He's really good as a director, writer, and actor. It's great as a leading role or a leading character. And um, yeah, Ritter earned his Oscar nomination. Though, I wanted Bale to win, and he did, so. But hey, it's not like a, it was an upset of a, a win. If, if, if Renner won, I mean, I could see why. That wouldn't have been my preferred choice, but, you know, I can see and understand the choice, but, you know, I feel Academy chose very well that year in the supporting actor category, but all that aside, The Town's a great film. Check it out if you haven't, um, or if you have, maybe you'll rewatch it again. I've been kind of been wanting to rewatch it, and I finally did, um, and it, it's still good. It's still great. All right, I've rambled on long enough, um, so until. Next time, have a good week, have a good day, see you later.